Welcome to today's T20 Daily Show. We are just outside the Kensington Noble, fresh off of the victory of England over the USA, a commanding victory indeed. I have a special guest here today, right at the Legends of Barbados location, former West Indies international player, Kurt Anton Edwards. Mm. How are you, Kurt? I'm fine, bro. Nice to see you as well. You know? It's always a pleasure, my brother. So, as I said, we're a stone's throw away from the Kensington Oval. Sam caught up with the England fans after that victory. It's time to see what's trending. Baller, yeah. Well, lit us up. Oh, uh, I didn't know she did. I am the man, I'm the bash. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's Jordan, man? Yeah, Jordan. Yes. Yeah. It has to be Jordan. Like, it. Dude, like four weekends in one over, can't beat that. I've got Jordan, all right? Yeah? Yeah. Still buying up for you, yeah, bro. Not that, but it's only because you went on Jordan. Commanded England victory. What did you make of the game? I thought it was a, a, a total domination by England, you know, which is sort of expected because, you know, these guys are very experienced and, you know, having a couple of games in the Caribbean, you know, they want to, to catch on, they want to start to understand the conditions a bit better as they go on. So today, you know, and it was also a day game. And to me, in the day games, it's either power or fitness that makes the difference. The reason why I say that is especially on these slow pitches and thicker outfields. It's either you're going to run it, you're going to turn ones into twos, twos into threes, or you're going to be hitting some sixes. Yeah, so I think that makes it the difference. And England definitely dominating in, in those departments today. Okay, top, for, top performers today? Top performers today would have been, I would say, Ash Adil Rashid. And then, you know, Chris Jordan having a hat trick, which I'm very proud of. You know, my relationship with Chris and Brooke being Barbados. He's, a, he's, a, he's one of our heroes, you know. Um, and also with, with Joss, you know, dominating at the back end there, you know. And he's known for that, so it wasn't surprising. Salty has always been, he's been going well for quite some time as well. So it seems to me like England are on the rise at the middle. Staying on that team, how far do you think England can go? Well, to be honest, with the team with that level of experience and, and being champions before, you know, there's, there's always a hope of they're, they're going to the, to, the, to the end, you know. So, what this cricket is also played on the day, you saw last night, Afghanistan <laughs> beating Australia, you know. And in the Caribbean, the conditions are very tricky, so who gets it right on the day, you know, that would decide the victory. So, we saw the fans all around the ground. Sam has been trying to see who can beat Jacks 84 in the hotly contested edge to edge competition. Are you an edge ledge? I don't believe so. You don't edge it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Aim of the game. As many keep your uppies on the side of the bat. Cool. Aim of the game, as many keepy uppies. Aim of the game, as many keepy uppies on the side of the bat as possible. You've got 30 seconds. If you drop it, you've got to start again. Okay? There you go. Edge ledge. Three, two, one, go. And that's time. Ronaldo, are you an edge ledge? You're not good at edging the ball. So you're going to be good at this? Yeah? Aim of the game, you've got 30 seconds to get as many taps as possible. If you drop it, you've got to start again, okay? Cool, on the count of three. Three, two, one, go. Unlucky. Time. 15. Another cracking effort from today's competitors. We're still awaiting who can overcome Jack's 84. So, Kurt, we caught up with Carlos Murphy earlier discussing Eden Gardens and what transpired. 2016, as we well know, yeah. four incredible sixes off med stocks. Here's what Carlos had to say. Mm -hmm. 
straight to business now. I'm not going to go over what has been gone over so many times before in terms of what was done at Eden Gardens. Uh, my question for you though is um, at any point in you and Meds to us have a conversation around what transpired? I mean, I, I, I probably speak under correction, but I don't think we spoke about the night itself. Well, we have had a conversation um, since yeah, we spoke after the game um, on the night in question. Um, and then we have seen each other around, I played four years at IPL, I think, and he would have played two or three of those years. We would have played against each other, wrestling versus England since then as well. Um, so we know how what's up. <laughs> Um, I think there's respect definitely from my end um, for what he's done in the game before that night um, and I think it's been astonishing what he's been able to do since that night as well um, I think everything that has happened right for England in world cricket Ben Stokes has been a massive part of and it speaks to his character um, his self-belief um, when I watched his documentary, how hard he trains to be able to put himself in those situations and believe that he can come out on top. So we have had battles since then, even in the blast. Um, so we've had battles since then, but we we haven't really sat down and had a drink and have a chat about the thing. We did something on Sky Sports, was, which was really nice during COVID. Um, I think he took the stool, he kind of his thought process. I tried to do the same. Um, I thought that was really cool. Um, we were on a, a watch along. Um, the game was being played, and we were having a chat about what transpired. Um, so I say that's probably as close as we got. But it's definitely admiration from my wife for what he's going on to do since then. We all remember those wonderful shots by Karis Murphy. The good old fashion clear the front leg, and that thick outside edge skirt. However, there's a shot that you need to have when you're in the Caribbean, and that is a pull shot. Uh, we caught it with Raymond Riffa. Sam was out there at the water as well. Let's see how they got out. Raymond, onto the pull shot, one of your favourites. Yeah. Do you want to talk me through how you get in position? Do you get in position early? How does it work? Do you premeditate something? Uh, I generally don't premeditate it. It's... I just try to react and just mm -hmm. make it as natural as possible. Mm -hmm. um, but there are a few things that I use to, to make sure I make good contact with my um, pull shot. So it's like a box, so like, hey, you don't want to get chest on um, to the boy, you want to stay as, you want to stay so you know as long as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> in that balanced position yeah. and keep your weight going far into the shot. Uh -huh. And then I generally just want to keep my hands, get my hands as long as possible. Get my hands fully out there to yeah. contact with the ball. Uh -huh. I don't want to uh, try to power the ball and get my hands in here mm. because generally the ball goes yeah. up. Take it um, so I want to get my hands as low as possible. Mm -hmm. Even if the ball top edges, they fly and go mm. behind majority of the time mm -hmm. um, for my ball shot. Yeah, I'd like say you're facing 90 miles an hour. If I'm facing <laughs> 90 miles an hour, just try to get in position, my ready position, and get my hands. Uh, oh yeah, to just so contact is in. So if you if you show me your your, your contacts here in front of your yeah, eyes, so straight on in front of my eyes. Yeah, thanks. Right. I just try to get even even if it was this side of me. I just try yeah. to in control of the ball. Yeah, 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 to make good contact. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, informative for Raymond Rifo. Kurt, question to you: best pull shot you've ever seen or rather the best exponent of the pull shot that you've ever seen Wicked point then that's a nice one uh, hear that spark I mean that's his that's his shot I mean I've seen him play it many times that's his shot um, and he came that's because I watched him I would say a little bit more but I think prior to that it was Viv Richards where I've seen Ricky point in a lot more and I think that just and that's the way it's very bad they had that to finish late. That's a fair assessment. Well, I can give you a good point. That was not the way we used to argue about Cherry Campbell and Carl Hoover. Uh, they were schoolboys. Yeah. So that's a conversation for another time, guys. <laughs> uh, business time now, predictions. <laughs> India versus Australia. I think it's probably one of the most important games of the tournament. 
And judging that it's playing in St. Lucia, you know, the pitch has a bit more pace. I think Australia might just slightly like, have the edge on them right there in um, St. Lucia. And also, Australia is a team that when it comes to big tournaments, you know, they always have that little bit of extra in tank. So I think if India had been playing them in Guyana or Trinidad, I would say India. But being I say St. Lucia, I tend to think Australia. All right, so no jitters from the Afghanistan game at all? No, it was, it was different conditions altogether. You know, you all know in Arnisville with the, the win factor. You saw how many catches got dropped last night. It's, it, Arnisville is right there by the sea. And um, also, the pitch is influenced by the tide as well. So, you know, it's, and it's a spinner's game there as well. All right, so the sporting conditions, the sport to the fact that Australia may have the edge on the St. Lucian surface. Yeah. Who in your top picks for batters that can score runs on that surface and certainly the borders that would be impactful? Well, for sure, in terms of Australia, I mean, you, you got Head there, who's just had a great IPL. And in terms of Caribbean, St. Lucia will probably be the closest surface to. Australian type surfaces right. so I mean as you see Stornis is going quite well and obviously you've got a big show so Australia really have a lot of players and then obviously you can never rule out you can never rule out India's batting as well you have top top players you have the best in the world in T20 format in Sky which is Yadav you have Virat which is the boss overall and they have Roy who is also a legend in all formats so this is going to be quite an interesting game, but I think the face ball, I think face bowling will make a difference. The, the, the mouse on that trap, the mouse and face of the trap will make a difference. So those who conquer that, they will have the edge. Get your cinema tickets, guys. It promises to be a blockbuster. Curry, thanks for joining me. And you're a busy guy, entrepreneur and director of Cricket Legends and all. Guys, shooting in again, same time. Can't guarantee it will be the same place. T20 Daily from beautiful Bridgestone Barbados. Sign it out. Yeah, well, okay.